Hello, everyone. Welcome to Van Chicago Land Stories, the podcast. I am your host, Pico Stanis, and this is episode 33, season two. And today we'll be talking about a couple things. I'm going to talk about the store directories for Marshall Fields and Weebold's department stores. They were located on State Street in the Chicago Loop. And uh, I will talk about a a restaurant that was near my old neighborhood. It was called Mr. G's Steakhouse. I'll talk a little, I'll talk briefly about that. For right now, here's a commercial f- for Pepsi Light uh, soft drink that uh, that is from 1976. So here, so here we go. <laughs> Until now, you had to choose between good taste and low calories. Until now. The time is right for Pepsi Light, Lemony, Pepsi Light. We put a little lemony taste in and took out half the calories. Refreshing Pepsi Light, the cola with a lemony taste in and half the calories of regular colas out. We put a little lemony taste in and took out half the calories. Okay, I am back. I'm glad you enjoyed the commercial. Uh, I remember Pepsi Light uh, when I was growing up. Uh, That came out about, I think, 75, 76. I was about 12 uh, 12 and 13 at the time. I remember my mother buying it at the Jewel. And uh, a lot of people didn't care for it because back, back then diet soda still is tastes strange and then but this was something different but uh i liked it and uh it didn't last very long probably until the early 80s but i think it made a comeback uh i'm not exactly when and then um then later on i think the 90s or in the 2000s they started doing other flavored colas and uh, the one i remember is coca-cola had vanilla flavored which i like very much i think it's still around so and then they had the orange and lemon and uh, cherry. Well, cherry that's Dr Pepper, and uh, which I like very much. Okay, uh, before I get started, I want to mention one thing. Uh, right now, m- my podcast episodes are on YouTube. I uploaded them yesterday. It took a half a day, but it was worth the task. And you can find them on my. YouTube account, Van Chicago Land Stories, the podcast, and all 32 episodes are there. So also this episode, episode 33, will be included. So if you are happen to be on YouTube, you can make a search, do a search, excuse me, and then you can find them and you can listen on your phone, on your tablet, on your desktop, anywhere, anywhere you can access YouTube. Okay. Today I will be talking about uh, store directories from Marshall Fields and Weebolt's department stores. And there's an interesting website called the Department Store Museum. And I and I've I've seen it before, but I figured I can read the directories. Like what was what was there on e- <clears throat> excuse me, what was there on each floor of the department stores, Marshall Fields and Weebles? I won't go I won't read everything, but uh I would just read uh like uh for example, uh first floor has clothes, second floor has cosmetics, uh third has toys. So I'm gonna get started and first I will start with Marshall Fields. Okay. Now Marshall Fields course was uh located on state street uh macy's is there now but uh i've heard a lot of people to this day they still are angry they they want marshall fields back they don't like macy's i'm not crazy about it myself but maybe some way somehow somebody would bring it back and uh, i think everyone will be very content about it it will be exciting you know because it was one of the most wonderful stores in Chicago, very elegant, beautiful, and uh, customer service was uh, the utmost perfect. So hopefully, keep our fingers crossed. We can always hope. Okay, now, uh, here we go. We're going to start with the directory for Marshall Fields. And uh, here is the budget floor, which I assume it's the basement. Someone could correct me on that. 
And they have uh, who they have a lot of things. So budget floor, they have uh, women's shoes, casual shoes, daytime dresses, sportswear. And that was at North by North State Street. If you go in the middle of the store, they had belts, cosmetics, toiletries, costume jewelry, hosiery, handbag, handbags, millinery, which means uh, I forgot what that means, millinery. So I could look that up. What meantime, there's called notions, and notions are like uh, accessories to sewing. A you know that that kind of uh, Word you don't hear every day, you know, you know, notions. Uh, I used to watch old movies and uh, they used to mention notions. I remember uh, the Marx Brothers movie, The Big Store, and they mentioned notions, you know, go, uh, they mentioned go to the notions department. And which is, and then I found out what millinery means it means uh, hat making. You make women's hats. So that's in, very interesting. Okay. And uh, they also had uh, someone called Miss Tempo. Maybe a lot of women remember that. Or men, junior tempo, sportswear. Decorative accessories, dinnerware, glassware, lamps, uh, coats, suits, lingerie, daytime, nighttime. Uh, they had the flower basket there. And then, then they had the boys' department. Uh, which is the apparel for all ages. Uh, they had uh, closet coordinates, uh, home accessories, and they have for men the usual clothes, uh, cosmetics, jewelry, underwear, shoes, shirts, whatever. Now we go to the first floor, and uh, they had cosmetics, dr uh, drugs, notions, prescriptions, uh blouses sweaters and they call and there was something called the first place and that was a boutique and they also had sunglasses jewelry handbags the flower market uh, the hat bar umbrellas anything candy greeting cards i remember the candy when i was little that was nice uh also they had the I had luggage the wine shop smoking accessories i don't know if you find that today uh tableware uh cameras also when they had electronics uh and uh repair service they had that uh they had clocks diamonds jewelry silver okay second floor they had it was the bath shop and linens also table linens uh you can they have the bridal gift for registry uh fashion fabrics uh singer sewing center remember that Lamps, uh, china, dinnerware, glassware. They had the uh, crystal room and the Steuben room. That's nice. Okay. Then they had a picture gallery, uh, fine paintings. They had a place called the Orient Room, artware, collector's room, family album corner. And they had an event center, which I remember that. Okay. Third floor, they had uh, gift wrapping, American Express Travel Services, which I used to work at. Rolly Meadows, the Juice Bowl, the Crystal Palace, uh, lounging apparel, lingerie, uh, daytime lingerie. Uh, they had the optical. I think they had the eye doctor there, or you buy glasses. Uh, they also had the paper book bookshop. They sold books, collector coins, maps, uh, and the candle shop, the Williamsburg shop, the gazebo, gazebo shop, and the Christmas court. It sounds nice. Okay. And they had uh, creative stitchery, stitchery, excuse me, uniforms and maternity shop on the third floor. Okay. Now we go to the fourth floor, young people's shoes, teen shoes, infant shoes, infant's furniture, nursery accessories, kindergarten shop, tiny finery, toddler shop, uh, the boy shop, the pret. The prep shop, excuse me, student shop, girls' accessories, children's lingerie, school's girls shop, teen scene, tween teen shop, and accessories. Okay, and they also had uh, the toy center and pet accessories. Oh, that must be fun. Okay, now we go to the fifth floor, and it's young Chicago coast and suits, junior scene, French room millinery, young millinery, which were hats. They had the wig salon. 
and the young Chicago sportswear. Also, they had Mrs. Dresses, uh, which is spelled M-I-S-S-E-S apostrophe dresses after five dresses, young Chicago dresses, hairways. They had a beauty salon. They had Elizabeth Arden Boutique, a shoe salon, fashion classic shoes, young Chicago shoes, and uh, Leisure Square, NTN Engineer Boutique, excuse my French, the Shop for Papagallo, Contemporary Shoes, and the Wig Boutique. Okay. Also, they had uh, town and casual dresses. Now we go to the sixth floor. They had a coat room, the suit room, all with their coats, pace setter, sweaters, skirts, sportswear, Contempo, active sports, sp spectator sportswear at the country shop. And they also had the Sunningdale shop. Uh, I get a lot of people would remember that in the old days. You know, they would remember the sections and and floors where everything was featured and presented and displayed. Also, they had these. Yeah, like I said, the Sunningdale shop, the first salon, the first storage, French room millinery salon, and the Globe Trotter. I'm not sure where that was. And they had Chicago room. The showcase, the dress room, the sundown shop, alterations, and monogramming service desk. Very nice. Then they had the 28 shop, the Zandra Rhodes Boutique, and gifts for her. Very nice. Okay, now we're at the seventh floor. They had the English room, the veranda, gourmet foods, cold foods, uh, frozen foods, candy, the walnut room. Ah, still there. Beautiful place. The main kitchen, the wine shop, the Wedgwood room. The Narcissus Room, I don't think it's there anymore, not doubt it. Party Bureau, the Bakery, the Crystal Buffet, Bowl and Basket, and Dry Cleaning. And now we go to the eighth floor, and you have the Decorating Galleries, American Antiques, Occasional Furniture, Pool and Patio Furniture, Modern Furniture, and Crossroads Market. And you have Dining Room Furniture, Scientific Sleep Equipment, and Upholstered Furniture, Trend House, and Antique Reproductions. And you had the, uh, yeah, they also had uh, bedroom furniture and the pilgrim shop. Very interesting. And now we go to the ninth floor. They had appliances there, the garden spot, uh, kitchen furniture, the color bar, the tool chest, floor covering, gourmet gallery, lifestyle, housewares, curtains and draperies, decorative pillows, hardware, drapery hardware, excuse me. Bedspreads, upholstered fabrics, and home entertainment center, the music center. Okay, now we go to the 10th floor. They had adjustments, customer service. So you had to go to, up there. Central cashiers, credit office, personnel office, accounting, and information services. Okay. And next we have the 11th floor. Uh, it was a receiving and marking room, receiving office, and jewelry repair work room. Interesting. And the 12th floor, they had uh, upholstered workroom, personal shopping, mail order service, accounts receivable, medical bureau, employee, employee development center, visual communications, employee cafeteria, which is on the 12th floor. And 13th floor, very, not, very thing, not many things up there. Sign bureau, design division, bakery workroom, carpenter and workshop, and the candy workroom. And the the 14th floor, they had construction and maintenance. And, uh, okay. So for uh, men's stuff that was on the, uh, for men's wear or anything associated with men, it was on the first floor, second floor, and third floor. All floors, really, up to one through seven. So that's that's interesting. Okay. Phew. What a list. Now I will talk about Weebolts. Uh, and goodness, Weebolts is, wasn't that much. So uh, Weebolts was on 1 North State Street at uh, on the corner of Madison and uh, State Street, which I love that store very much. Uh, it was also my mother's favorite store. I, she used to shop the one at Fort City on the southwest side at the mall where we used to live. And she and uh, Weebolts opened there in 1960. Before that, it was Mandel Brothers. I will talk about that store in, on a later episode. So it has an interesting uh, history about that. So I will read off the oh, I will read off the directory for Weebolts, and uh, they don't have many things. So they in the basement they had the Weebolts budget store. First floor they had 
just like at Marshall Fields, uh, cosmetics, suburbia shop, clothes uh, for women, custom jewelry, gloves, handbag, handbags, hosiery, rainwear, uh, notions, fine jewelry. And they had men's furnishings, men's sports wear, and the optical shop was on the first floor. At second floor, they had luggage, girls wear, infants wear, toddler shop. Uh, they had the nursery furniture, girls accessories, uh, tots wear, stationery, calculators, candies, books, and men's suits, slacks, sportswear, shoes, hats. Third floor, they had lingerie, robes, sleepwear, loungewear, bedding, towels, and linens. Also, uh, bras, girdles, Dr. Scholl's shoes, fashion fabrics, art needlework, and, and that travel service they had there. Interesting. Uh, fourth floor, they had the crystal room. They had uh, dresses uh, f for young ladies and blouses, uh, tops, sportswear, <coughs> excuse me, town and country shop, coats, fashion coats, maternity shop, and for junior sportswear. <coughs> excuse me. Oh, they had a lot of, uh, and uh, contemplative dresses and contemplative sportswear. Now, the fifth floor, they had the fashion shoes, the wiggery, junior shoes, bazaar hats, uh, shoes for women, and the music center. And the sixth floor, they had draperies, rugs, and carpeting, lamps, lightning centers, appliances like TV, stereos, sporting goods, summer furniture, books, health and beauty aids, and records. And the, cell, the seventh floor, they had gifts, glassware, silverware, china, trim a tree, housewares, hardware, and major appliances. And the eighth floor, they didn't have much. They had furniture and uh, bedding, like sleep shop and furniture. And the ninth floor was toys and the S&H Green Stamp, Green Stamp Redemption Center. Oh, Green Stamps, I love that. I will talk about that Green Stamps in, in a future episode, go in more detail. They had a place called the Travertine Room. It's five restaurants, the Wash, Wash, Wabash Grill, <coughs> excuse me, and the Beauty Salon. And the tenth floor, they had the Weeball Center. I'm not sure what that is. Okay, so that was fun. I uh, hope uh, it didn't bore you, or because I was exhausted. I was exhausted talking about that, but it was fun reading all that. And uh, we miss places like that. We miss department stores. Uh, some of you were around Macy's, of course. There was a store. There's a store called Von Maur that is on that is at Lombard at Yorktown Center, and now they opened recently at Orland Square Mall in Orland Park. I haven't been to that store yet, so I'll check it out. We'll see what happens. Okay, uh, the next thing I would <coughs> excuse me for coughing. I got some in my throat. I should clear my throat. Next thing we'll talk about is uh, it was a restaurant that I posted on the Chicago Land Stories on my Facebook page, and it was called Mr. G's Steakhouse. And a lot of people remember that restaurant where I used to live on the southwest side in the Ashburn neighborhood. And um, I never went to that place, and I found a picture of it on eBay. And it was located at 3534 West 79th Street. And the photo was taken in June 6, 1964. And when I moved in the neighborhood in 1974, I remember people mentioned the, this restaurant. And uh, when I created the uh, Ashburn group for my neighborhood, the moment I created it and then I invited people over or they joined, they remembered that steakhouse. They said it was a pretty good steakhouse. It was there for during the 60s and early 70s. But my mom, my, I asked my mother and I showed the picture. She did remember it. She remember seeing it. So I'm not sure when it closed. I'm sure it was a nice place. Uh, a lot of people uh, went there after going to a ball game. Cubs, Sox, Blackhawks, even the Bay Chicago Bears, they went to that store to eat. And uh, they said it was a wonderful place. So it's too bad it's gone. And uh, there were wonderful restaurants around where I used to live. And there was uh, pizza places. Uh, two pizza places are still there, Vito and Nick's and Angie's, which are wonderful. They st still serve good pizza. I love it. And I still go there 
Once in a blue moon. That should go again. Okay. That'll be all for today. Um, forgive me for coughing. You know, my when I talk too much, my throat the, doesn't get clear enough, so I drink a lot of water. I'm glad you enjoyed the, the this episode uh, for the store directories from Marshall Fields and Rebolt's uh, department stores and talking about Mr. G's Steakhouse. Uh, like I said before, you can listen to my episodes on my YouTube channel, Van Chicago Land Stories, the podcast. You can also listen on my blog, Van Chicago Land blog, and also follow me. You can subscribe my podcast on Apple Podcasts and Google Podcasts, whatever or Spotify, whatever podcast platforms. Also, you can follow me on my Facebook page, Van Chicago Land. Uh, Van Chicago Land. Excuse me. I don't say that often. Uh, Facebook page I post every day, so uh, anyone can listen to anywhere with this. But thank you for joining me. I am Pete Costanas. This is episode thirty-three. Section season two. And uh, hope to see you soon. Hopefully, I'll do another podcast tomorrow. We will see. So, here is Ray Rayner saying bye bye now, bye bye for now, and bye bye for me too. Take it away, Ray Rayner. We have to go. Bye bye bye. <laughs> <laughs>